Guys, CS2 just released an update and it is pretty much an operation. More than 100 new items, new weapon collections, three of them just like an operation, new case stickers, and all new weapon charms. This is exactly what we've been waiting for and just when we lost hope, it finally came. So just like an operation, there is now an armory pass and this seems like something they're gonna be consistently going with now. And maybe it's replacing operations, but it's pretty similar. All you gotta do, get the pass like an operation, start earning credits, and you earn a wide range of items, which we're gonna get into. The more you play, the more XP you get. So actually playing the game is finally worth it at this point. And you could get up to five passes to stack progress on all of them at the same time, which I'll show you guys later on. Now, they do have charms as well. We've talked about this for so long, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. You could place them anywhere on your weapon, more custom ability, and I'm gonna show you guys how to actually get them as well. And you can see some of the new skins here as well. It is crazy. So there's a bunch of different charm collections. I'm not gonna focus too much on them. There is the missing link charms, bunch of like hot dog looking people. There's a cat in there, I didn't notice that. There's a cat, dear God, that is an ugly agent. Ava. All right, but this video is sponsored by Skins Monkey. If you've been looking to trade out your old boring skins for new ones, Skins Monkey is the place. By clicking the link in the description, you'll get a 35% deposit bonus when depositing with cash and crypto, and up to a free $5 bonus on your first trade. So be sure to click that link. Skins Monkey also has the freebies tab where they run 24 seven giveaways that are completely free to join with crazy skins. And if you're looking to actually get your hands on some good skins, Skins Monkey is the quickest way to do it. So be sure to get that free $5 and 35% deposit bonus now trading your CSGO skins with that link at the top of the description. There is also some small arms charms, which is just another collection to it. You guys could see it all here, USP, op. All of them look very, very cool and you could place them anywhere on any gun, as I said earlier. And then we have the three new collections. Some absolutely, oh my God. Some absolutely insane, oh my God. I haven't even looked through these. Oh my God, dude, these skins look crazy. But yeah, Overpass Collection is the first collection. We got the Graphic Collection too. That looks hideous, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but there is a lot of cool stuff in here which I am looking through for the first time. There's a lot of cool skins. New AK skin, let's go. M4 Fade, I saw this earlier. Oh my God, it's insane. I thought we were gonna get the M4 Gamma. Oh my God. I thought we were gonna get the M4 Gamma Doppler, but I thought that was a case harm, but we did not. We got an M4 Fade, which I cannot complain about. That looks insane. And then we also have the gallery case which I don't know if it has a new knife yet. For some reason, it does not say. I'll double check. Ooh, but there is some good looking skins here. What is this? There is some good looking skins here too. I don't want to focus too much on this though. And then they don't know how to spell. They also have uh, new stickers, two new sticker collections actually. So it's going to be a whole bunch of new custom crafts. Little clown nose guy. But let's keep moving on. Also, they changed scraping. So instead of scraping just like 20 times to actually scrape the sticker, you could get a little slider going. So it's a lot more convenient and makes crafting a lot better and looks very good. And they have this limited edition item, Forge and Fire. He did, he treated Desert Eagle as unique in its wear. Apparently, this is not a case, and I thought it was. Apparently, it's called Heat Treated. So I don't know how to get this. I'm going to show you guys when I actually figure it out in game. And then all the frequently asked questions, you could just buy this armory pass uh, just in the in-game shop like you can everything else. Items in the armory are acquired exclusively through armory credits. So like an operation, you gotta grind, get more credits, and then you could buy stuff in the actual shop. Also, you don't earn reduced XP. Apparently progress is content, which is good. It's actually worth grinding. And they actually earn credits. You get your first one immediately. And the remaining 39 are earned through playtime. And once again, you can activate five of them at once. And interestingly enough, you can't buy them. You only earn them. So it is a good way to actually get people playing the game. You can't buy them like operations. That's really the only thing different. You could buy operation stars. You can't buy these. So it's interesting. And this is what it looks like in game. It looks exactly like an operation shop. The limited edition item costs 25 stars. Once again, you can't buy these. So they are very limited. And it's also only for 103 days. So they're constantly going to be switching these out. These are going to become rare good items, I think, unless everybody's buying them, but we'll see. Also, there's no agents for some reason. I just realized that, but get an armory pass. It costs $16. Oh my God, they're just farming money. And once again, you could get five of them. So they really want your money, but yeah. Uh, I think that's all I gotta say. 
But yeah, thanks to Skins Monkey for sponsoring. Check them out with that link at the top of the description, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.